Hey everyone, welcome back to The Mind of Thomas, For today I just picked up the Nintendo Labo Variety Kit. I'm really excited to try this thing out. We're about to go pick up my friend Isaiah. He's gonna come over to my house with me and we're gonna build some of the Labo kits together. Should be very exciting. So this is the box for Labo. What do you think of it? Well, if, if we can do anything that it says there, then that's pretty cool. I see there's a fishing thing and then a, yeah. a little motorcycle, I think, and a yep. piano and the And then you house. can also code your own projects with it. Oh, cool. So we can do that as well if we want. All right, guys, we're back here at my house. We're about to start unboxing Nintendo Labo or Labo. Are you ready to take a look at this, Labo? Yes, yes I am. All right, let's do this thing. Alright, so let's go ahead and start the initial unboxing. Alright guys, so we just finished making our first Labo project, this Joy-Con holder here. Uh, this kind of practice work. You ready to get on to making a real Toy-Con? Sure, right. we can. Okay, let's go. So I guess we'll start off making something kind of smaller, not like these our projects. We'll build the RC car, which should take roughly about 10 minutes of completion. You ready, Isa? Yep. Alright, let's do this. Let's test this thing out. Let's see, play now. Oh, cool. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Whoa. Let's Kind of. Oh, cool, it's measuring the hertz. Oh, cool, we can, so there's a little camera on it, and it can see out of the right Joy-Con IR sensor. That's cool. So we're taking a look at the Discover part of Labo to see how the RC car works. Or though, I can explain that. Who's forward when the vibration from the Joy-Con travel through its legs? That's neat. So, it, when we press those little buttons on the tablet screen, it vibrates the Joy-Cons that it makes the legs move a little bit. That's, that's really neat. Alright, so we have it uh, set up on the Toy-Con garage configuration. We're just kind of messing around, making something simple to where when we press the thumbstick down of the left Joy-Con, It'll wait 10 seconds, and then a cat sound will be played. So, are you ready for this, Isaiah? Sure, let's do this. Alright, so let's hit play. I think that was it. Let's try... Here. Oh. We need to make it continue for like five seconds or something. And let's let's make the timer a little shorter. Yeah. Let's say five or four or four ninety. 
All right, ready? Oh, that was cute. That's pretty cool. You could just kind of code it all like that. Yeah. I can't wait to see what I can make with this in the future. All right, so I think we're going to take a little break for making Labo projects for now. Overall, what are your first impressions of Nintendo Labo, Isaiah? It, um, I definitely think that it has a lot of potential. It has a lot of potential for creation, and it looks... The whole, the whole construction out of a cardboard thing is something that I wouldn't have thought of. Yeah. yeah, yeah, excellent, excellently done. Yeah. So my initial thoughts after messing around with it for a little bit, I really like it. I think it's a genius concept creating your own toys with cardboard and the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. Something I never would have thought of. Just absolutely brilliant on your part, Nintendo. Absolutely brilliant that you would think of something like this. I can't wait to be coding my own projects in the Toy-Con garage, be building some more of the stuff like the piano and the fishing rod and the motorcycle and everything. I'm really excited to see what more is in store with this thing. Anyways, I think that about wraps things up for this vlog venture. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!